Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Bass Brothers Fishing DMV, Naeem here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a, a quick but very important video and this has to do with securing uh, decking down on a John boat. If you're modding your boat like I did this, I built this boat out myself and you gotta figure out how to secure your deck down. Now, I've had this boat running for two years now and I did secure it down already. But unfortunately, through taking my deck on and off as much as I did, and I did it a lot, the holes stripped out. And I'll get into all of that. So today, very important video. I almost had a catastrophic event happen to me very recently. As I was trailing my, bo my boat down the road, the rear deck literally almost flew off completely. Had it flew off completely, that could have been like deadly, literally. And that's not a joke at all. So I had to rethink it do a reset and really think what's the best option for me right now to secure the deck down. And on this John boat, this is a wood carpeted deck as you can see right behind me. So hopefully this video will help some folks out if you're faced with how to secure your deck down properly in the best and the safe way. I won't even say it's the best way, but it's the best way I've come up with that I think will work out really well. All right, I've got my deck off, so I'm ready to get going. So originally I secured the deck down using these screws right here. I actually have it in a video where I did that installation. I'll leave that linked at the top of the screen. These are self-drilling screws made specifically for wood to metal applications. Here's what one of them look like. And if you can tell by looking at this screw, you might be able to see like it's a very fine thread screw. And again, over time, me taking this deck off a thousand times because I've done so much work to this boat, eventually those holes stripped out. One of the main reasons why I did use this screw is because one is simple, just screw it in and go. Two, you can hide the heads of these screws really easy in your carpet. Very small head, it's actually the color of most carpet anyway, so it was pretty much invisible to the eye. I still stand by these screws, which are a very good option. What I should have done, instead of just drilling directly into the bench, I should have opted to rivet a piece of aluminum right to the top of the bench, creating a thicker surface to drill these screws into. So I would next time, if I wanna go this route, just put a square piece, I'm just using this rectangle piece as an example, just rivet a square piece on here, get the surface thick enough so that when you screw these screws through, it has a, not, a lot to bite into. So that's what I'm saying, this is still a good option. And honestly, I think I wouldn't have had the issue I had had I not been taking a deck on and off. But I imagine a lot of people out there end up doing that as well. So if you're gonna go that route, rivet something in and then drop this screw through. I did get two years out of this, but we're gonna move on. What I'm going with today, and this is the 2.0, I'll call it, version of installing a deck is rivet nuts. And if you don't know what a rivet nut is, that's what it is right there. It's basically an insert that you drill a hole out, insert it through, clamp it down, and screw whatever fastener you have, whether it's a screw or a bolt through it, and it is rock solid tight. If you're gonna go with rivet nuts, one of the best way to do is have your rivet tool. I'll go through this in a second. And the screws I'm going with are M6 zinc plated, and I was actually looking for stainless steel. I wasn't able to find any, but these are zinc plated, so it has some good corrosion protection built in. So once I get the rivet nut locked into place, I'll simply screw right into it. This will actually clamp down, hold everything in place. In order for this to work good, you need to drill the right size hole. Here's an example right here. I just did a test one on the first one I ever did last year. You wanna drill out a hole that fits the size of the nut and it should be a pretty tight fit. There can be a little bit of play. You don't want a lot of play in it. As you can see on the back side, this shrinks down and clamps onto the surface just like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. It flattens out right around the edges, creates a nice ring and clamps on. When in doubt, just drill some holes in some spare metal and just fit your nuts in there. <laughs> fit your nuts in there. <laughs> and just test it out. When you find the right size drill bit, if you don't already know, this is a good way to figure that out. Pick a drill bit that's pretty snug, doesn't leave a lot of room, because you want this to clamp down really tight. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna drill out all the holes. I'm gonna go with a total of eight different holes. Originally, I used six, but I'm gonna go with two additional ones this time. Drop a hole here, in that corner, and right here, and right over there. I did not have any right here before. For the rest, I'm gonna use the holes I already have drilled out. I just need to widen them out to fit the rivet nut in. So my work is pretty much halfway done already. So I'm gonna do that first and then show you guys how to use this. So the size drill bit I'm using for the M6 rivet nuts is an 11 32nd drill bit and it's gonna create an extremely tight fit. I've already tested it out on that spare piece of aluminum sheeting I just showed you. All right, I've got my hole drilled out. 
Just drop the rivet nut right in there. This thing is in there extremely tight. I mean, you don't even hear any play in it. So perfect fit. So just to show you how this thing works. And if you don't have one of these, you can pick one up. I got this one off of Amazon. It was like 35-ish dollars. So it's, it's not cheap, but not really expensive. There are some workarounds. You can actually get an adapter that goes on a drill bit. There's some different workarounds out there in case you don't wanna buy one of these. But for me, I wanna make sure that I just go all out, but just wanna give you those options. And don't worry guys, I will leave everything linked in the description below. As always, you don't have to go far looking to figure out what I used in this video. It'll all be down in the description for your convenience, so check that out. So first we wanna do is pick the right size. I think these are called mandrels. So this kit right here has them all labeled out the different sizes. I grabbed the M6 one. Wanna swap out the one that's in here already. Just grab the tool that came with it. Unscrew that. Push out the little, I don't know what this is called, but push this out. Thank God they give you an extra one because I know I would lose that. Pop out the old one. Put the new one back in. Sorry, I should probably show you a different angle. Just line up the hole, pop this metal piece back in there. All right, here a little click, and then screw back in the top piece. Just tighten it up. Don't have to go too tight. First things first, just go ahead and screw the ribbon nut on here. You wanna make sure that the arms are out so that you can get it all the way down. Make sure it's flush right on here, no space. Get it down in the hole, keep it as flush as possible. Go ahead and clamp it down. To get it out, you just unscrew this. This will actually screw, unscrew it out of the rivet nut. And we're done. All right, let me try to give you a close up shot of how this looks. It's pretty flush, but in there super tight. I mean, I can't budge that. It's, it's down in there, that's squeezed in. This is gonna make for a completely secure deck. All right, got one down. I'm super excited about this because this means I can trailer this down the road worry-free. I don't have to worry because man, that left a permanent image in my brain what happened out there on the highway when my deck almost flew off my boat. So I'm gonna repeat the process for all the holes and locations I need and then install the deck back onto the boat. Got all the rivet nuts in place. Everything is flush in there. Feeling really, really good about how this all turned out. Everything's very secure. Using the tool didn't take a lot of effort. It made it a really quick, simple, easy process. All right, let's get the deck back on the boat. Got the deck back on. Time to screw everything down and I actually painted the screws. Just try to match the deck carpet as much as possible. And I don't know, this is a color that was at Lowe's at the time. This is actually an aluminum color. It's not even gray, but better than having shiny silver. When I originally did the boat, I was really self-conscious. I wanted to make sure I hid the screws as much as possible. My outlook on that has changed quite a bit and functionality is definitely just as important. So just spray painted it, try to hide the screws as much as possible. The heads of these screws are a little bit bigger than the other ones, but I'll show you how it looks in the end. Let's go ahead and get this in. All right, got the deck screwed back down. Everything is super secure. This deck is absolutely not moving. It's not budging at all. So feeling really good about that. I ran into one issue on one of the rivet nuts, that one right there. For some reason it stripped out and as I was screwing it down, maybe I was putting too much pressure on it. I tried to back it out and it's, it won't even back out. So I've got one screw right there that I'll have to deal with that one later. But other than that, the other seven went in fine and I was actually able to hide the screws pretty well. In the end, I did a little black Sharpie on top of the spray paint I did because the paint was still a little bit too light and the black Sharpie, never go wrong with the black Sharpie, uh, hid the screw even more. So you can see it down there if you're looking for it. Using the rivet nuts will also make removing the deck a lot easier as well. And I can safely remove the deck as much as I need to. Still cosmetically looking good and most important, this will not comply off and create some accident on the street, all right? All right, so not a bad investment at all. 
Very happy I got this tool right here. Guys, that about wraps it up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, another edition of Bass Brothers Fishing DMV right here. I'm really hoping this video helps some folks out, especially if you're doing your own John Boat build or your build is already done and you're trying to figure out a really good way to secure your deck. Try some rivet nuts, invest in the tool, and get, get that peace of mind. I'll probably use this technique more in the bills that I do coming up, whether it's for decks or anything I just wanna secure down, maybe a pedestal seat or something. Uh, this will definitely be an option. Don't forget links in the description below for what I used in this video, as always. It's time to get up on out of here. We'll see you on the next video.